try on and reviews with some greens today. AOA from my shop Miss A haul. Join me to find out how they performed and what look I created. Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Well, today I am going to be reviewing an AOA palette and an AOA gel liner. These I got in my Shop Miss A haul. I will link that video down below. There were additional products in this, but this is what I'm going to try on and review today. I am going to apply it to one of my eyes and then I will be back with the final look um, once I apply it to the other eye and the rest of the makeup. So let's go ahead and get started and let's go ahead and see what I can create with this. So and I know I don't do things the traditional way, so I'm, and I don't use brushes the way they're intended to be used. So if you see anything that you don't normally do, my apologies. I just wing it every single time. So every time I don't know what I'm going to do until it finishes the process. And I have primed my eyes and I have also primed my face. So that's already taken care of. And I already set the primer on my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and start with this as the transition shade. Wish me luck because it's already picking it up very well on the brush. And there is some kickback, but that was to be expected. This palette was actually $1 and I'm going to go ahead and go in with this eye. And I'm going to try not to do too much heavy handing because I am known for that. And it looks like I'm, I'm going to be okay. It does not come out too, too dark. So looks pretty good. I like the shade. really really nice and for those of you that do not know I do not use a I think they call it a color swatch or something like that I actually use the padding that comes in our boxes and it works perfectly fine and it removes the color so there's my not expensive at all because I already have it so it's pretty much free from the packaging and this is what I get in some of the subscription boxes. Now let's go ahead and go into the outer corner. This is going to be tricky because I don't know which one of these is going to be darker. So I'm going to swatch it. And I think I'm going to go with that one. So there we go. It even removes it from the fingers. Let's go ahead and go in here and I am going to use just the rounded brush. I think they call it a pencil brush. I don't know. And this one does not have any fallout, but because it is a shimmer. And it, it's not very pigmented, so I am going to have to build it up. And again, I should have gone in and clipped my hair. Very pretty. So, so far, so good with this palette. Now let's go ahead and go into applying to the eyelid. And I am going to go in with this shade here. So I'm going to try and keep this a simple look. And this one also does not have any fallout because it is a shimmer as well. Wrong brush. Let me see what I have in here. Because I did not bring all of my brushes with me. So let's go ahead and use a packer brush. I'm going to use this brush here. 
and see what I can get out of that. So it picks it up fine. And now we're talking. I don't see any fallout so far. So we're still good in that department, as they say. I love this shade. This is a very, very beautiful shade. Let me go ahead and go into the lining. I'm going to use this shade here and see if it's not too dark to go into the corner. I'm actually going to go into the corner with this one. And it is brightening, actually. So I do like it. And if you are seeing my eyebrows and they are a little crooked, yes, they are. I actually just did the review for the iMethod Beauty um, eyebrow stamper kit. And I will link the video at the end of this video in an end card. I absolutely love it. It's going to cut my makeup application time in half practically because I do struggle with my eyebrows. That is one of my biggest struggles. Now let me go ahead and use this shade here, the dark shade, and see if I can add a little depth to my crease line. I'm actually liking this. I really like this. I'm going to do the gel liner. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous shade. I'm going to do this. I wanted to do it on along the line, the lash line. But I don't know. I may just go underneath, but before I do, I'm actually going to prep with the lighter shade. No, it is a cream, so I'm going to leave it cream. That's it. I'm not going to add powder to it until afterwards if I need it. And it does pick it up, so let's go ahead and in here and see if it's going to give us payoff. And looks like it is. Not as much as I would like to, but it looks like it is. And poke my eye out, why don't I? I like it. I like that shade. I really do. In this shade, it's, and this is actually a, I'm going to need my glasses for that. It is the Metallic Buttercream Gel Liner Shadow. So it's a liner and a shadow in the shade Extravaganza. So this is the Extravaganza shade, once again absolutely gorgeous and this is in fairy garden absolutely gorgeous as well so i will be right back i'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye i will see y'all in a bit to get the full effect with the lashes already and i'm not gonna put false lashes i'm going to do mascara but i will see y'all in a bit I am back and this is the look that I finally created with the mascara already applied and I do have a blush that I will be applying. It is a cream blush and it's also from AOA and I don't know if my brush will pick it up but I will definitely try. It looks like it will. I hope I don't put a little too much on there but let's go ahead and Trial and error. And it is a little on the pinkish side, but that's perfectly fine. And I know this is a powder brush, but uh, like I said, 
I do not use brushes for what they are intended to be used. This is my favorite blush brush, so which is why I am using it. And it is cream, so it applies a little differently. I don't normally reach for cream type products, but I was curious to find out how this was going to perform and it does have pigment. As you can see, it is it is pigmented. So let's go ahead and try this. And I do carry it up a little, not much, and blending it out is going to help me. I'm going to remove a little bit of the color. I think I did go a little overboard. But I like it. I like the shade. I really, really do. And I'm going to leave it alone because otherwise I'm going to make a bigger mess out of this. And these are all of the products that I used to create this look. This is what I came up with. I hope you liked it. Let me know down in the comment section. Could I have done something different? Uh, what do you think about it? I'd like to know. Thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.